So we're gonna start off with a Python statement. If A or B and C, so let's make sure to nail down the precedence so we don't have to remember that. So if A is true, or else both B and C are true, then we're gonna execute some code. And so now let's look what it takes to get full MCDC coverage of this bit of code. So the first thing we can see is that we're gonna to need to test each of the variables in with both to their true and false values because conditions, that is to say, the conditions are A, B, and C here, need to take on all possible values. So we can see that each of the conditions is going to need to be assigned both the true value and the false value during the test that we run. Now the other part of MCDC coverage, that is, does every condition independently affect the outcome of a decision, is gonna be a little harder to deal with. So let's take a look. So let's first consider the input where A is true, B is false, and C is true. We don't even need to look at the B and C part of the expression because we know that if A is true, then the entire condition succeeds. This maps to a true value. So what we wanna verify here is that we can come up with a test case where every condition independently affects the outcome of a decision. And since our top level operator here is an or, let's see how we can make the whole thing come out false. Well, the B and C clause already came out to false because if B is false, then the whole thing comes out to false. So if we make A false, then the entire decision will come out to be false. And if we've changed only A and we haven't changed B and C, then we've shown that A independently affects the outcome. So let's write another test case. Okay, so our second test case, with A being input as false, B input as false, and C is true, leads the overall decision to come out as false. So we've shown now that A independently affects the outcome. So let's try to do the same thing for B and C. So if we wanna continue trying to leave everything the same and only change the value of one variable in order to establish this independence condition, let's this time try flipping the value of B. So we're gonna have A being false, B being true, and C being true. So if we look at the overall value of the decision, what now happens is that B and C evaluates to true. So it doesn't matter that A is evaluates to false. Overall decision evaluates to true this time. By flipping the value of only B, we've satisfied this condition for the input B. That is to say, we've shown that B independently affects the outcome because when we change B, the overall value of the decision went from false to true. So now let's see if we can do the same thing for C. So we're gonna leave A and B the same, and we're gonna pass in C as false. So now let's look what happens. B and C evaluates to false, and then also A is false, so the entire value of the Boolean decision comes out to be false. So by only changing C, and by seeing that the overall decision changed value, we've now shown that C independently affects the outcome of the decision. And so what I believe we have here is a minimal, or if not minimal, at least fairly small set of test cases that together gets 100% MCDC coverage for this particular conditional statement in Python. And you can see here that this isn't a particularly complicated conditional. We could have written one much more complicated. And if we had, we probably would have had a fairly hard time reasoning this stuff out by hand. And we, what we needed, would have needed to do in that case is probably draw out a full truth table. And so let's look at the idea behind MCDC coverage. Why would this be a good thing at all? What it's done is taken a statement that was really very easy to cover using either branch coverage or statement coverage. That is to say, it's pretty easy to take this and make it either come out to be true or false overall, and we force testing of the individual components of the Boolean logic. And basically the idea is, is that when we have complicated Boolean expressions, their truth tables become rather large. And what that means is there's a lot of complexity hiding in those truth tables. When there's complexity, there are probably things we don't understand, and that means there are probably bugs. And it turns out that the domain of interest for MCDC coverage, that is to say embedded control systems that happen to be embedded in avionics systems, end up having generally lots of complicated conditionals. It's definitely desirable when people's lives depend on the correctness of these complicated conditional expressions to force people to test them rather thoroughly. The other idea behind MCDC coverage is that as part of establishing that every condition independently affects the outcome of a decision, we're gonna figure out when we have conditionals that don't independently affect the outcome of a decision. And if you think about it, why would you have a conditional involved in a conditional expression which doesn't affect the outcome? What that basically means is there's a programming mistake. And it may be a harmless mistake, that is to say, the extra conditional being part of a decision may not affect the correctness of the overall system, but what it means is somebody didn't understand what was going on, and probably there's something that we need to look at more closely and probably even change. And another thing you can see, looking at MCDC coverage, is that getting it on a very large piece of software it's gonna take an enormous amount of work. And this is why it's a specialized coverage metric for the avionics industry where the critical parts of the codes end up being fairly small. So that's MCDC coverage. And we're not gonna take a programming quiz on that since first of all, as you saw, it gets to be a pain pretty quickly. And second, we lack good tool support for MCDC coverage in Python.